Can I get a thumbs up? Alright guys, so tonight we're going to be making smothered mushrooms and gravy. Roasted vegetables with asparagus, zucchini, and Brussels sprouts. And we have that right here. We're going to chop them up, put a little olive oil on them with some seasoning. We have our portobello mushrooms that have already been cut up, bell pepper, onion. We have our milk and butter for our potatoes that are already boiling. And... Our skillet is heating up and we already have the flour over by the stove for our um, uh, gravy. So while we get ready, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with our gravy. Our mashed potatoes are almost done, but our gravy has got to get started. So I already have the skillet heating up. And you like, you want your skillet to get hot first. And then you want to put your flour in there. And this is what you call making the roux. Yeah, we're doing okay. We've been in the house. I went, we went out for a walk today, but it was brief. Potatoes are done, so I'm going to cut those off. So we got our flour browning. I already have my oven set at 375 because we are going to roast those veggies. But when you go to make a gravy at home, it's important to know how to make it. So the first thing you want to do if you're going to make it from scratch is you want to brown your flour. The browner your flour is, the darker, um, the darker you, the darker you let your flour get by browning it, the more flavor you're going to get from your gravy. So this is how you get gravy. Instead of buying packs of gravy, it's just root. It's just a flour that they kind of like darken and toast. So that's basically what I'm doing. I should have probably used a wooden spoon. That ain't gonna work. This is the one I like to use in this skillet. So it's gonna look like it's burning or starting to smoke. It's not. You just want to keep moving the flour around. So that it doesn't burn. And you want to use fat. Get you a nice amount of fat. I used about one fourth of a cup of flour. Less, a little less than one fourth of a cup. And you guys can see it's starting to get dark. And I like a really dark gravy. So this is how you start your roux off for your flour. If you don't know how to make homemade gravy, I'm about to show you. You guys are going to see that it's getting darker. Let me pull y'all up a little closer so y'all can see down in the skillet. All right. And you'll see it starting to brown. If you got any chunks, go ahead and break it down. And I like a pretty dark gravy. You want to stay with it because you don't want it to burn. But it's getting there. So I keep my skillet on high when I'm rounding my gravy. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in the fat. Which is the butter. Now turn your skillet on low. And this is the time where you start adding in like a little bit of salt and stuff. 
And then you want to make sure you get all the lumps out of your gravy at this point with the roux when you add the flour, the butter in there. Any lumps that you see, try to get them out. Don't want lumpy gravy. All right, now you can go ahead and start adding in your water. I like to add in some chicken stock, well, vegetable stock. The mushrooms and the bell pepper and the mushrooms are going to thicken it up. I use a little bit less flour when I use mushrooms in the gravy because the mushrooms also thicken up the gravy. So we're going to put the lid on there and let it simmer. So let's go back over to our table with our veggies. We got pan. I've already cut the stems off. The parts that get really tough. And I have some Brussels sprouts. Um, these are Brussels sprouts right here. They're really small, so I don't have to cut them in half. YouTube cut me off so that's why I'm not singing a lot so hopefully everybody's gonna do this tonight garlic powder, some onion powder, and just give it a toss.
They're going to take about 15, 20 minutes to roast. Alright, so let's come check out the mushroom gravy as you guys see. Oh, I got cards everywhere. It's starting to get thick. The mushrooms are going to cook down. And the um, bell peppers and onion. And I need to add in a little bit of garlic. And I guess all right yes can y'all please hit the thumbs up button so yeah that's pretty much what we have going on right now hey Louisiana how you doing honey are you staying safe I know they got a lot going on down there in Louisiana right now Potatoes are done. I did those earlier. What I let them cook so they wouldn't take so long. So we're gonna go ahead and mix those up. Let's go ahead and drain them. skin on them to get the most nutrients out of them um so i usually just take um a vegetable brush or a paper towel and clean them real good and let them soak in water before i start to cook them so let's go ahead and get started on the mashed potatoes i just do a simple basic mashed potato for, for the reason for this um because um i got parts for y'all i do simple mashed potatoes because I already have a lot going on with that gravy and I don't want to take away from the gravy by doing too much with the mashed potatoes. I know what I did wrong. Hold on y'all. I got my cards all crossed. All right. So I just keep my mashed potatoes pretty simple. Potato pie. All right. Can y'all see the potatoes? 
So with my mashed potatoes, I usually just try to just do salt, pepper, some almond milk, vegan butter. Um, I will add in sometimes a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder. Just to give it a little bit of a, a better taste. So we're going to start out with six tablespoons of vegan butter. Some milk. And I do use almond milk for my mashed potatoes. I did forget something though. I usually just take um, my beater and just go to work. A little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, a little salt. Some black pepper. And I just stir. And that's how I get my potatoes. look over at the gravy. It's going to need to cook down for a few more minutes. About another 20 minutes. But other than that, everything's going good. I'm going to go ahead and um, check the the vegetables check on the vegetables Vegetables are fine. All right. So how's everybody been doing today? It's been crazy around here. I went out for a walk. Y'all know I've been in the house. I went out for a walk today. 
Um, I was up last night a long, for a long time, so I didn't go to sleep till like late, late. And when I got up, I did some stuff. <laughs> and then I went for a walk. And I kind of just been around the house today. It's no nowhere to go anyway. So I just been hanging in the house, minding my own business watching um netflix youtube i think i'm gonna order the disney channel next because um i like watching disney movies so that's gonna be my next thing disney the disney movies you know Chill out. So nothing much has been going on. I've been trying to stay away from the news. Um, because there's so much going on, it just makes me real nervous. So trying to stay away from the news, making masks. You guys like to see. Let me do a video on how to make a mask be um, for, you know, a beginner. It's been really fun. Like, I bought some more fabric and stuff. And I've really been perfecting my mask making skills. And I finally got one that I like. I've been wearing. I, it's in the laundry room because it needs to be washed. But that's pretty much all I've been doing. I was really like, oh my God, I got to cook tonight. I wasn't going to come on, but I know I told you guys that I was coming on. And I had came on early in the week. And for some reason, YouTube kept, um, every time I would get on, like the other, like last night, they kept knocking me off. So I just said, screw it. And um, I didn't leave that, I couldn't leave none of the videos up. So, yeah. So once again, we have the iced tea maker, y'all. If you like iced tea, get yourself one of these iced tea makers. Because I promise you, you cannot go wrong with this thing. You put your ice, you put your water in the machine. You See, it just cut me off again. Okay. Yes, we're on lockdown. Yeah, I know they got Louisiana locked all the way down. <sighs> this has been terrible to everybody. It has. Oh, you love your ice cream making? Child, when you gotta, ooh, might as well even finish everything out. Lord. Hold on. I thought it was done. Lord, I look over here and it's just running out the side of the thing. I thought it was done making. I wasted tea. Okay. Clean that up. But yeah, I really um have just been in the house, you know, looking at arts and crafts, doing a lot of reading. I'm gonna go in and reorganize my office. Try to anyway. And let's keep finding things to do. I think I'm gonna go to Walmart and get some plants and stuff. I have to go in the garden center, so I don't have to go in the store. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go when they open. I go to stores when I if I have to go out and get anything, y'all. People is lazy these days still. So if I have to go anywhere, I go early in the morning. I mean when they open, open like. 
I be in the car waiting on them to open the doors. Unless it's like for senior citizens, but other than that, I be there early in the morning. Mask on and everything, honey. I get in and I get out. I don't play no games. Because people, they kind of like to work around in the store. I feel like people don't go in and get what they need. So I get what I need and I get out. And I don't hang around. I don't go on a mission to find a whole bunch of stuff. I go in and get what I need and I catch out. You will not catch me in the store just walking around um, looking for random things. I'm just seasoning the gravy now. I should have let it brown a little longer because I didn't get it as brown as I wanted, but that's okay. Ooh, that's a little too much salt. Um, but I get in and I get out. So let me get out the gravy. Y'all see it? So it's sticking it up. Gravy doesn't thicken in the same way when you don't have like flour meat in it. Like sometimes if I want my gravy to be real thick, what I'll do is, is I'll fry the mushrooms and then I'll put them in the gravy. But I didn't want to fry them tonight because I've been frying a lot of stuff. Most of the vegetables look good. Let's see. I'm going to grab a spoon and taste the potatoes. Hey, honey. So this is what the mashed potatoes look like that I made. They so creamy. I love creamy mashed potatoes. They don't need nothing else. Them yummy. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna be getting the roasted vegetables out in a few minutes. So I use my sweet tea maker and I do two large tea bags, the largest setting for the tea, ice, and then I do like oh, the country time lemonade. I put some of that in there and I add a little bit of, I want to say uh, about uh, one fourth a cup of sugar in there because y'all know I don't use regular sugar anymore. And I make like half and half lemonade. It'd be so good. It'd be fantastic. Okay. So. I got a new treat from the store. They didn't have my Magnum ice cream bars. And y'all know your girl love ice cream. So. This is what she's been eating. If you look at. If you. Even if you're not vegan. Because vegetarians can eat ice cream. But you have like lactose issues. You can't eat dairy. Try these out. Yo, these things is so good. Like, and then who else? Magnum has a chocolate one. They have one with almonds and then they have a regular one. But you can't find them nowhere right now. But the Hagen Dodge. 
chocolate fudge frozen dessert boy boy let me tell you this thing is so good it reminds me of y'all remember those fudge bars you use fudge sickles that you could get off the ice cream truck that's what the inside of this tastes like it's like a grown-up one though for people who don't eat there but this only um three bars come in the back the box though but yo this right here honey let me tell you it's delicious get you some of these gravy getting thick like it's been in the gym doing with squats it's time to get the um it's time to get the mixed vegetables legit out Oof. all right So those are the roasted vegetables. We're gonna put them on the tray. They're done. I'm gonna set the timer for another 10 minutes on the gravy. And it should be done by then. But she getting thick, she getting thick. So those are the roasted vegetables. Can y'all see them? So I used, for those, I used about 10, 15 um, Brussels sprouts. And then I used a bunch of asparagus, a small bunch. And then I used one um, yellow squash. And they were delicious. You put a little bit of that lemon pepper on them, some onion powder, garlic powder. I grab a little bit so y'all can taste see me. They taste good though. I have a little mashed potatoes. Just a little. Alright, so let's taste the roasted vegetables. Mm. Ah. Mm. I can use a little bit more lemon pepper, but they're good. Mm. Might just sprinkle a little bit more lemon pepper on them. Mm. That is so good though. I love lemon pepper on my roasted vegetables. Baby sprout. Creamy mashed potatoes. Them mashed potatoes is busting. Added a little bit more lemon pepper on there. That took it to the next level. Mm. The gravy got six minutes. Mm. I love mashed potatoes, baby. Mm-mm-mm. Them mashed good. I'm gonna mess around and eat them all. A little piece of asparagus. I 
Y'all, this is so refreshing. Get your iced tea maker, get you some tea bags, some kind of sweetener that you like, and get you some country time lemonade and make it. Get you some half and half. I love half and half. Mm, it'd be so good. You say ASMR? <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I thought about it, but y'all know I talk a lot. And you can't talk a lot. You know? I'm going to try. 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 That sweet tea was so good. Woo! -hoo! Yo, I'm so ready for this gravy to get done. She can't sit. Mmm, mmm. And I know it's not really hearty, but I do eat more mashed potatoes. But y'all, it'd be so good to me though. I just like gravy and mashed potatoes anyway. Oof. If I wanted to, um, to take my gravy to the next level. All I would have to do is put a little bit of bulk in there. That's it. If I wanted to have a meaty of a taste, would you guys like to see me add some bulk into it? Because it'll give it more of a meaty take texture. And it really is going to be good. You know, it don't take long for bulk to heat up. Like, <laughs> bulk only, because it's, it's, meat. it's not meat. It's 11 grams of protein. So... If y'all want to see me put some bulk over into the gravy, let me know. Anybody else besides Red Bird? Red Bird, I'm going to do it. I'm going to add a little bit. And whatever is left over in the morning, I can put on some biscuits. I'm going to use about a half of that. Y'all know what I got in the freezer. I didn't even think about it. This will be good in the gravy. I got four left. They're vegan meatballs. Y'all, we're going to have to wait a whole nother 10 minutes now. All right. <laughs> Let's stir it in there. And I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Ooh, that gravy already good too. My husband will enjoy those meatballs. So we had to put it on another 12 minutes so that the uh so they'll cook so Y'all can see, I put the ground, the ground um, bokeh in there. So it kind of looks like when you make meat gravy sauce for like 
biscuit and gravy is in these. When they soften, I'll smash them down. Oh, that's going to be good. Who? Guess who going to have biscuits and gravy in the morning? <laughs> Me. Add a little, um. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Herbs in here, some dry herbs. Sweet all that. Let me add a little basil in there. Ooh. I was looking for you. But I couldn't find you, baby. Ooh. But add a little wish sauce. To give it a little more flavor. See y'all, this is how I be cooking. This is how I discover recipes. Some Italian herbs in the pot. Y'all, I need to turn it so y'all can see what I'm doing down there. All right. Once those meatballs get a little bit softer, I can smash them down. Ooh. I don't keep a lot of dry herbs in the house like I used to because I use a lot of fresh herbs in the garden and some parsley. <laughs> oh, Jesus. See, I'm just going to be basic tonight to see y'all be having me acting up, showing off. And almost smush the meatballs down a little bit. That's gonna be so good. And I got some biscuits in the refrigerator too. Tomorrow we're gonna be having biscuits and gravy. Now that's gonna be good. What y'all think about that? Y'all, we can be on here almost a whole hour. It's okay, though. I'm trying not to drink all the tea. I'm trying not to eat all the potatoes. Because, y'all, I really love mashed potatoes. And I didn't make that many. But they so good. I'm a rational. I love homemade mashed potatoes. Mm. I'm hungry. She's hungry. She's hungry. And thirsty. So, well... In another month and a half, because I feel like that's how long we're going to be on lockdown. And that's how long they're going to be on lockdown in other countries, too. But in a month and a half, what's the first thing y'all going to do when they let us out of house jail? They didn't put us on house jail. I put myself on house jail. But what's the first thing y'all going to do? I know the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go to a yoga class. I miss going to yoga. I'm going to the gyms because I don't have no weights to lift at the house. I'm going to go to get a massage. I'm going to go get a pedicure. I'm trying to find some stuff online so that I can take my the powder off my nails because I do dip powder. Honey, on my real nails. So I'm going to order the stuff to take them off and just clip my nails down. I want a manicure. I want a pedicure. I want to go shopping. I want to go to Atlanta to the Asian market. Honey, if this is over, 
Well, even if it's over in a month or two, I ain't going nowhere till June. Um, but I can't wait until we get out of the Rona jail, okay? Whew, honey. I like being in the house, but yo, I got plans. I got plans, okay? I got plans. I don't know about nobody else. But your girl is going to get out and enjoy herself. Really. Ooh, that gravy bubbling. Smushing the meatballs down. They're going to need a little bit more time to cook, though. That one broke. Maybe I should just break them up. Because they're Italian sausage, too. Break them up. Yo, that gravy is getting thick. I'm breaking those meatballs up. Rest of it with some biscuits in the morning. Yeah, I ain't got no more vegan butter. So, I can't even make biscuits. I got some canned biscuits. The Hillsbury biscuits are, some of them are vegan. So, I'm going to pop some of them in the oven in the morning. shortening though I got butter I can make my own butter but I got shortening I don't have to have butter I just like to use butter in my biscuits so you can actually do this gravy like this with hamburger meat just make sure you fry your hamburger meat first but since it's not hamburger meat it's like it's a veggie crumble you I just put it in and it's fine but if you're gonna do this gravy and you want to add the ground beef to it a ground turkey fry your gravy fry your meat first and then use the oil from it to make your gravy I had a friend who did meal prep and she would buy her ground beef and she would just cook it and store it in the freezer like she would cook like 10 pounds of ground beef and store it in the freezer by the pound, by two pounds. So when she had to cook something, all she would just have to do is take the ground beef out and just store it in the skillet with whatever she was doing. And she said it cut down her cook time. And uh, when, um, what is those, those Instant Pots came out, she would just take her ground beef, <laughs> her tomato sauce, her veggies, and, um, Anything else that she wanted to go in there, put it in an Instant Pot and she would have spaghetti like mad quick or hamburger helper. Like she would make her hamburger helper from scratch too. But she said it saved her a lot of time. I crushed those um, vegan Italian sausage up in there. Oh, I know that's going to be so good at all. That mushroom bell pepper too. And that onion. Y'all, that gravy looking obese. She thick like ah. So, ooh, don't cut me off YouTube. I said I wasn't going to sing. <laughs> um, but yeah, two more minutes. Let me grab a plate situation, honey, because it's about to be real serious in here. No caps. Ooh, ooh, I can't wait to eat y'all. Ooh, ooh. Let me get my plate ready. Because as soon as she get 
now I'm put it in a snipper. I need to get my husband plate together too, don't I? I do, I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fix both our plates and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So him can eat too, you know. Him, him be hungry too, you know. I'm a, um, I got both our plates, you know. And um, let me get him his cup. But we gonna eat, we gonna eat good. Potatoes on there. Child, I didn't make enough mashed potatoes. Okay. So I got our plates ready. Cause we we on the countdown. See, look, 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 Jesus, comfort me. Mm, mm, mm. Now I just want y'all to look at this in the pot. That's the hubbies. Reginald! Hold on, y'all. Let me take him his plate. I'm gonna stay on and eat a little bit with y'all since y'all watch me partake in this. Grab me a stool. Okay. I'm going to sit and talk for a second. Since y'all stayed on me while I got my life together. Okay. We can even talk for a minute. Grabbing a little bit more lemon pepper for my veggies. Can y'all see me? Okay. I guess this can turn into a cooking show mukbang. All right. Let's take grace. Amen. Okay, let's taste it. Lord Jesus. That is so good, y'all. Then her grandma made smother 
smother ground meat. Right there, take the hamburger patties and fry them like chop steak. That's what it tastes like. Ooh. Thank you, Ray Bird, but I. Homie. That's delicious. Mm. Y'all, this is so good. That little bit of Italian sausage chopped up in there too. Child, that's gonna be good on some biscuits in the morning. Piece of spirit to stuff on my teeth. Hmm. Am I the only person who likes mashed potatoes and gravy?
And I ain't even hardly talking. You know it's good. I'm going to sleep sleep after this. Woo. Boy, that mashed potato and gravy was so good. Shut No gravy left behind. I'm not gonna be fat and eat another plate, but it's tempting. Mm. When you clean your plate, you know it's good. That gravy, after I added it, gravy already be good though, you know what I'm saying? Great all ripping good, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but then when I added that bokeh in there and that Italian breakfast sausage, it's vegan Italian breakfast sausage. <clears throat> Honey. That hit all the spots in my stomach. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. And that's how you can be a fat vegan. It's possible. Whew. Well, you don't really get fat, you just don't lose no weight. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Excuse my language, but that shit was delicious. Oh, excuse me. That's my tummy. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. What they used to say back in the day, I'm full as a tick. <laughs> Ooh. Baby. Uh-uh. I got to put that. I got to put that on some biscuits in the morning, and then it's gonna be in the set there in the refrigerator, and all the stuff gonna be in the ooh ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, y'all, wow, that is good. Ooh, I need to get my eyebrows done. It's so good, y'all. Baby, you finished too. Y'all, he finished too. It's okay. It's good. He's like, mm. y'all know my, my husband country. He from Backwoods, North Carolina. He like country food. Mm -hmm. Biscuits and gravy in the morning. <laughs> he over there laughing, y'all. I know, I'm sorry. You, know, but you don't want biscuits and gravy? You want biscuits and gravy? You know you want them biscuits and gravy. Mm -hmm. mm. Biscuits and gravy. All right, y'all, let me get off here before I start singing on YouTube. You delete the whole video. I love you guys. I see y'all this week coming up. If I come up with something interesting to cook tomorrow for dinner, I'll be back. Whew, yeah, I ate so much. I am, I can't breathe. I'm having fat girl problems. Ooh, that gravy hit the spot. I'm ready to go to sleep now. Mm. Now I need some sweet. You know you fat when you eat good. And then you be like, ooh, that was so good, girl. I need some sweet now. That's how you know you're fat. I want real people. After I eat something good, I need something sweet. <laughs> anyway, 
I'll see y'all soon. I love you guys. Stay safe. If you have to go out, make sure you take the proper precautions. If you don't have to go out, stay your ass and nails. You know what I'm saying? Like they said, from the window to the wall, that's where we all need to be going. From the window to the wall, maybe to the backyard, not even stores. Stay away from people. Hmm. I love y'all. Good night.